these are the solutions to the first 10 problems in the uh, math counts practice packet. All right, so how many months are there in 35 years? So first you need to know that there's 12 months per year, so you just do 35 times 12. And that gives you the 420. The next problem, a function exists in the form y equals x plus a that models the data shown. What is the value of a? All right, so first thing you do is write down the table, um, and then we have to figure out a way to get from x to y. And we know it's by addition. See the plus a? So 2 plus what gives you 5? 2 plus 3. So a is equal to 3. All right, the next one, how many odd numbers are there between 20 and 158? All right, so first you have to figure out that we're counting by odds. So the first number is going to be 21, then 23, 25, etc., all the way up to 157. All right, now whenever you're counting by twos, you want to change the sequence into a sequence going 2, 4, 6, 8, and so forth. So you say to 21 to 2, the way to get from 21 to 2 is minus 19. And if you do that to each number, 23 minus 19 is 4, and so forth. See, it becomes 2, 4, 6, 8, and so forth, and it will go all the way up to 138. All right, now if we want to know how many numbers there are, you just then have to cut each thing in half. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and so forth. So that would mean 69 odd numbers. All right, number 4, we have um, a square. Now you should know that the sides of a square are equal. So all we have to do is set 3 equal to x minus 2. Um, and then you balance the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2, so x equals 5. See, 5 minus 2 is 3, so the side is uh, x would be 5. All right, now this one we have 50 grapes of different colors. 20% of the grapes in the bowl are red. How many grapes are not red? All right, so that means we have 20% would be red, 80% would be not red. Now, 80% is a common fraction which is 8 out of 10, or simplified to 4 out of 5. So we're looking for 4 fifths of 50. Of means multiply. So 4 out of 5 times 50. 50 and 5, you simplify along the way. 5 goes into both of those. 50 divided by 5 is 10. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So you're just looking for 4 times 10. So 40 would not be red, and 10 would be red. All right, this problem, we have a circle with radius 4 inscribed. Inscribed means it's inside it, barely touching the edges. Um, and what is the area of the square? All right, so if we know that the radius is 4, that means the distance from here to there is 4. Now the distance across all the way would be 4 and another 4, so that's 8. So that means each side of the square would be 8 by 8. An area is just side squared. 8 times 8 is 64. Always put squared feet. All right, next one. All right, now this one's a little tricky. We have a triangle with an area of 120 square meters, millimeters, has a height of 10 millimeters. What is the area of a similar? Well, similar triangles means they're proportional, um, which means basically each side has been multiplied or divided by a number. So in this case, we have a height of 10, and now it goes up to a height of 20. So that means that the height doubled, so that would mean that the base would double. Um, a lot of people mistakenly think the area doubles, but that's not actually true. The area will go up more than that. So if you look, at, we got to first figure out what the base of the original triangle was. So area equals base times height divided by 2. Well, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 24 times 5 will give you 120. So the new area, so this was the old base, so the new base is going to be double that. So double 24 is going to be 48. So now we have to figure out what the new area is. So you do 48 times 20 divided by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 48 times 10 is 480. So if you notice, the area, the sides went up times 2, but 120 to 480, the area went up times 4. All right. Now the eighth question. All right, so we have a bookshelf holding six literature books, three geometry, seven algebra, and they're in a random order. What is the probability that the first book is a math book? All right, so in this case, we first have to figure out how many of these are math. Well, geometry is a type of math and also algebra. So that means we have 16 total books, but only 10 of those are math books. So the probability of the first one being math would be 10 books, 10 math books out of a possible 16, which implies to 5 eighths. It's a little more than half. All right, the next problem, uh, we have a volume of a rectangular prism. It's 120 cubic inches. Um, the length is 5, the width is 4, what is the height? So you should know that the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So 4 times 5 is 20, so we got to figure out what times 20 will give you 120. 
So that means the height would be 6. 6 times 20 is 120. All right, now this one says, what is the greatest prime factor of 96? Now the quickest way to figure out what the biggest prime factor is, is to prime do a prime factorization tree. So you just break it down into a um, multiplying of its basic primes. So 96 breaks down into 2 times 48, 48 breaks down to 2 times 24, 3 times 8, 2 times 4, and so forth. So hopefully you know how to do that. Now this would be, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, I messed up. This should be 2 to the 5th power, not 2 to the 6th. So that should be, a, right here, should say a 5. So 2 to the 5th power times 3. Well, um, the only, the biggest prime number is obviously 3, because 2 is a smaller prime. So that would be the greatest prime factor. And that's it.